<laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> All right, calm down. Okay. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It is Josh Thomas here from the Bit Block, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, there's going to be a live-action Sonic the Hedgehog movie uh, next year in November, and they uh, the I think it's Paramount just recently gave us a little teaser poster of... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop, 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 stop. Collect yourself. Okay, so I've already seen it because it gives it away. The thumbnail for this poster is the poster. Um, but as you can see, uh, Sonic... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog looks a little different than what we're used to seeing. And, uh, well, let's just press play on this and then we'll go from there and we'll talk about it a little bit. Oh, God. What a bountiful harvest of memes this truly is. Okay, here we go. It's very basic. It's not like a... It's, it's the blue blur. Here he goes. The rings. Oh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, what? Okay. There's many things we need, to, we need to talk about with what's wrong with this. First of all, that ain't Sonic. That ain't Sonic the Hedgehog. That's a muscular man wearing a mascot head. Stop, I can't stop. We don't want this anymore. I'll let it get back to the thumbnail. There we go. Um, wait. This is weird because he has the body of a muscular man, but then it looks like he's wearing a giant mascot head of Sonic the Hedgehog. Why did they make him so muscular? That's weird and creepy. His head is too big compared to the design of that body. He also, if you look close, he has like hum he his hands look like human's hands or like a hedgehog's hands or claws would be. Cause they look kind of pointy at the end, which is creepy. He's got creepy looking hands. He's furry, but here's the deal. I actually agree, he should be furry, or you know, you sh it shouldn't be like a flat texture, that'd look weird. So I I get I think the head looks fine. If I do this with my eyes, that looks fine. Nothing wrong with that so far. When I do this and I cover up the head, I don't know what I'm looking at. That's just like a bobsledding team or something. Uh, so yeah, that's terrible, uh, terrifying. Uh, I just combined the word terrifying and terrible to make terrible. And I think that is a good way of describing what we're looking at here. This is terrible. Um, logo looks fine. Another thing I wanna point out is why are his shoes so different? His shoes look like generic Payless shoes. They look like the type of shoes that some old lady who's like 75 years old, who's trying to still be kind of hip, would wear. They look like weird orthopedic uh, New Balance shoes or something that he got at Payless. Why do they look so stupid? And why are they so big? They look so big compared to his little body, but his body's little, but not little. Is this actually like, did they have a guy wear a suit and then they shrunk him down? I don't know what I'm looking at, other than whatever it is, it's terrifying. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is there is a... <laughs> oh my... I love it though, by the way. Everything I'm saying, I want to see this movie, just to see how horrible it's going to be, because, oh my god, how fantastic. Uh, but I do want to say, there have been some movies where we saw the characters in super realistic, weird you know, HD, 3D, and the movies, I guess, ended up being good. Uh, the ones I'm referring to would be TMNT, the Michael Bay version of the Ninja Turtles. I think there's two of those, right? Well, I think people liked those overall. And when we first saw those characters, it was like, oh my God, what did they do? And I still feel that way. Cause like they're, they're teenage mutant Ninja Turtles, but they look like they were like 45 year old men who do nothing but hit the gym. Speaking of hitting the gym, Sonic clearly never misses leg day. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, it could be good. I don't know. Could it? Could it be good? Is it fair to judge it just based on this? I think it is, actually. That looks terrifying. I think they got everything they could have possibly gotten wrong about that. Um, 
But then also, uh, Transformers, none of those really look like the actual Transformers from the movie, or from the TV show, or the toys. They look very super detailed and stuff. So it feels like this is just falling in line with the Michael Bay version of Turtles and Transformers. Michael Bay has nothing to do with this, though. It says it's from the producer of The Fast and the Furious, which really makes me laugh. First of all, I don't think producers really do much, so I don't know if that really means anything. But uh, it is funny how they're like, we're making a Sonic movie. Ah, oh, who do we get to work on it? Who else has worked on movies with fast things? It seems so stupid. Um, but I think we need to look at this final teaser poster here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's a thing of beauty and horror. I like the little thing that says Sonic was here at the bottom. Oh my lord. His legs, he's got the legs of like a skinny guy and his shoes are like too big. They don't look anything like Sonic's shoes. Why wouldn't you at least keep the stripe that goes down the middle? They just look like suede generic Payless shoes that are like four sizes too big for him. He's got these scrawny little, it's weird because they look scrawny and muscular at the same time. I don't know how they pulled that off, but uh, I love the tagline, a whole new speed of hero. There's already fast superheroes. I'm pretty sure Superman's really fast. The Flash is really fast. Going fast is kind of a thing superheroes do. So that's kind of stupid. Like it's not it's not unique that Sonic's a hero that goes fast. That's been done. I'm so sorry, Sonic fans. I think you deserve better than this. You love this character and you support Sega and this is how they repay you. Cuz I think, oh, also I need to mention this real quick. Sega is upset about the way his eyes look. Apparently, like one of the people in charge of making the movie was like, Sega doesn't really like the way we made his eyes, but we had to. So if if Sega was okay with that, what in the world do his eyes look like? I'm guessing they're individual. They're not like, I don't know. Anyways, Sonic's making a movie and it's going to terrorize us all next November. But it's also amazing at the same time. <laughs> look at those legs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dun, dun, dun.